including the G8, the Security Council and the General Assembly of the United Nations, the African Union, the European Union, Japan, China, Brazil, India, and the rest of the Commonwealth. I have also had fruitful interactions with the Bretton Woods institutions and various international NGOs. I believe the benefits from this extensive network are making an impact on the lives of the entire citizenry of Ghana. Permit me to cite just an example of, of the free maternity care for our women. There are many more examples, but the occasion does not permit. So I'm forever thankful that my vision has been expanded to enable me to appreciate fully the common humanity of man and the interdependency of the world. Mr. Speaker, I owe this enlarged vision and more to the good people of Ghana for electing me to the highest office of the land for eight years. I am very grateful indeed to all my compatriots for bestowing on me so rare an honor. Now I want to thank all the peoples and citizens of Ghana. You would permit me to render my gratitude in a few selected vernaculars of Ghana. Mimam for Aditya Medumase. Nyenji Waladong. Akwe, Akwe, Nagode, and may God bless us all. Thank you. Order. Order. May I call on the Majority Leader and Minister for Parliamentary Affairs to move a motion thanking His Excellency the President for the message he has just delivered to us. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity. Mr. Speaker, I beg to move that this House thanks His Excellency the President for this most thought-provoking address